Welcome back to Upfront. There's an unusual and unexpected Democratic primary in the Milwaukee area's 4th Congressional District next month. Incumbent Gwen Moore faces a challenge from former state Senator Gary George, who is attempting a political comeback. Gary George appeared on this program two weeks ago. Today, Congresswoman Gwen Moore joins us on Upfront. It's good to have you back on the program. Thanks, Congress. Mike. Good being here. Were you surprised to face a primary challenge from Gary George? Yes, I was, Mike. Oh, why, I, why so? Um, I was surprised because I think that I am a good steward uh, of this seat. Uh, and I thought that uh, Senator George would use his talents uh, in other ways, uh, given uh, the nature of, of uh, his departure from politics. I want to ask you uh, to react to what he had to say on the show two weeks ago, because I know you, you saw what he had to say. Uh, he basically said that you're part of this do-nothing political class and that Milwaukee has these enormous problems, but nothing's being done to address them. What do you say to that? Well, I thought it was very interesting that he talked about the people in Milwaukee. Uh, and I was really surprised that, that uh, he didn't have a little bit more animus for the people in Madison <laughs> or perhaps the people in Washington, D.C. Um, really, it's hard to debate, uh, for example, that, uh, that, that we are having problems in Milwaukee. Um, but it's, it's not for the lack of making an effort. For example, he says that we need more jobs, which is really true. Uh, and yet, when uh, I was one of the people that worked really hard to get Talgo here, the, the train company here, who were not only going to make a couple of train sets, but they were going to repair trains and put the rail through, uh, we got uh, $800 million from the feds. And our governor just goaltended. And, and took that money out of the queue. Uh, that was about to bring back life and jobs, at least 500 uh, jobs, uh, to what had been the old A.O. Smith Ground Tower Automotive. Um, and uh, you know, as an example. Um, so, so you think the, his the, anger the, should be directed elsewhere, that, that his frustration is misplaced, is what you're saying? I, what about the, the, the Medicaid funding? I mean, we, we got a $93 million hole in the Medicaid budget. Uh, the governor did not take the 100% paid for Medicaid money. We have 80,000 fewer people being covered uh, uh, for more money. Uh, and, of course, that would have meant jobs as well. Um, in D.C., for example, uh, we, we see our local elected officials here opposing the, the uh, reauthorization of the XM Bank, which supports about $124 million dollars. Uh, worth of exports, and of course, Milwaukee is really, really tied to to manufacturing the import export bank, not only large companies like Caterpillar and Harley Davidson, but very, very small supply chain uh, industries in Milwaukee, tool and die makers really need the export import bank to work and uh, and and yet we see Republicans, and he is running in, in a democratic primary. Uh, we Do you see think he sounds like a Republican? I, I can tell you it's a very curious spike. Uh, why he has uh, uh, so much hostility for the people in Milwaukee. People like Willie Wade, for example, Alderman, who fought uh, to get Talgo there, uh, uh, and Mayor Barrett. Uh, and yet, he yes, mum, silent on the, the 250,000 jobs that Governor Walker has not only not produced, but has prevented with many of his policies. You said to me before this interview that you questioned his, his connection to the community because you said, frankly, he could run for a district, district congressional seat that's open, the 6th district seat. You say that's basically where he lives. Well, I, I can tell you that, uh, that the Democrats, and he is a Democrat, I would assume, he has always been a Democrat, we, 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 would, we need to pick up seats. Um, we don't need to just have Democratic primaries. And of course, you know, I've worked on a bipartisan basis with Congressman Petri, who is retiring. Um, just recently, um, he worked to help uh, us get some more monies to, to do some reparations to the Burnham Canal. Uh, he helped uh, uh, me to get uh, I-94 designated as a, as a major interstate highway uh, corridor for repair. And he's been a wonderful congressman, but he is retiring. Uh, that's a seat that could be won by a Democrat, and it's curious that Senator George didn't uh, see fit to run for that seat. Let me uh, ask you uh, briefly, uh, are you worried at all that because there are no major Republican primaries in this area, 
that you could have people who might want to go vote for David Clark in the Democratic primary for sheriff and might also vote for Gary George. Does that concern you at all? Well, I can tell you, I don't know what their strategy is. Uh, David, David Clark is running in the Democratic right. primary, so you, 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 you know, that, that could happen. Um, and this is America where people are allowed to vote. But I am just reminding people that I have brought resources home to this community. I mean, back when earmarks weren't an ugly word, I brought $127 million in for everything for the bus fleet, new bus fleet for Milwaukee County, um, to dredging uh, projects and, and repair for MMSD. And, and even in this do nothing Congress, uh, I have been able to work with Republicans and despite Republicans to pass major pieces of legislation like the reauthorization to the Violence Against Women Act. Congresswoman Gwen Moore running for re-election in the August 12th primary. We appreciate you being on the show today. Thanks very much. When we come back, the latest on the border crisis and what it means for Wisconsin. Will hundreds of those young illegal immigrants be coming here? But first, here's the WIS Politics week ahead. The next Marquette Law School poll comes out Wednesday over the noon hour.